And a very good afternoon everybody, my name is Scott, the second Andy Smith and it is my absolute pleasure to be here with you at Corbage bringing the commentary for the 2019 Chinook display. Today's crew are just beginning their running towards the crowd centre and if you look far into the distance you may just begin to pick up the land right heading towards you. During the 2019 season, you'll see us find the latest upgrade of the aircraft, the Chinook Mark 6 Alpha. The Chinook is operated by four squadrons, operational squadron numbers 7, 18 and 27 at RAF Engine in Hampshire, and 28 squadrons at RAF Benson in Oxfordshire. This year, it's been an absolute privilege for all of us on 18 Bomber Squadron to bring you the 2019 Chinook display. So, looking back out to the display area, along what we can look at the axis in the centre of the ground line, you'll see the mighty Chinook has now descended slow level and at its cruising speed of 120 knots. The crew will shortly pitch the aircraft up into a steep climb and as they come over the top of their first nose, nose, nose over, they're going to be looking straight down, giving them the first view of you all of these back up at them. When that happens, please do give them a big wave as they're going to come over the top and do this for the first time.
And with that done, the two are now repositioning for their crowd centre nose over. So it's time to get your cameras ready if you want to catch a schnook at 45 degrees nose up. Well, people are walking in front of it. The display you see today really demonstrates how veneer for this extremely large helicopter is. Most of the displays born out of technical skills employed and perfected on operations around the world. During all of these manoeuvres, the co-pilot's eyes are constantly darting around the cockpit. Use check-in, aircraft performance, monitoring the aircraft speeds, pitch and roll parameters, and all of the height. As you can imagine, this is all the more difficult over water, as the height can be incredibly difficult to judge. See the aircraft now turn to the right in a pedal turn to the left. The Chinook has been used constantly as a battlefield helicopter for over 37 years. Most recently in Iraq, Afghanistan and now Mali, its heavy lift capacity combined with power, speed and agility ensure that even during those hottest summers and darkest nights, the force always completes its mission. And the crew shortly going to whip the aircraft around into a low level 360 degree orbit, giving you the chance to really hear that sound of the aircraft. Look out in front of that top side view. The photographers amongst you will get a great angle of this awesome machine and its unique contra rotating blade design. Operationally, the ship has a four person crew, two pilots in the cockpit, and two weapon systems operators or crewmen in the cabin.
Now the aircraft's going to run back in with the nose low, accelerating towards the ground before breaking away to our left. If the wind's right, you may well blow us out in this trip. The crew are now ready to fleet another wing over, out to the left, with the co-pilot working hard to get JT back onto the crest line. Now, over land, we would then normally look to land the aircraft back on just two of its six wheels, but looking at the surface in front of you, you may notice a slight issue with that. <laughs> Supporting the display aircraft this year, we have a team of exceptional engineers, fresh, fresh back from operations in Bali, led by Chief Technician Lee Edgerton. Lee joined the RAF in 1990 and has worked on phantoms, tornadoes and tubers. Although he's been involved on the Schnook Force since 1997, he simply wouldn't have displayed without him and his team of hard-working engineers. We've had our open display to fly a flat 273 turn to re-attack the prow centre. Thanks to you, event organisers, flight control committee, and of course all of you for coming out to watch our display. 